I'm here today with Milton Cusandreas from Milton's, Altan's, and the Columns Banquet Facility. And we're making one of my favorite dishes, one of his signature dishes, homemade meatloaf. I can't wait to get started on this. Milton, why don't you walk us through this? Uh, very easy to make. The good thing with meatloaf is you don't have to be a chef or a cook to know how to make meatloaf. You just put the ingredients in, mix it up, put it in the oven, oven and it's all done. We're going to start by cracking some eggs. We have a 10-pound mix here ground beef. And We're that's just a standard 80-20 mix? Yes. Uh, okay. Five eggs. Gonna mix them up. Just give them a little quick whip. Yeah. That'll help them kind of get blended yeah. so you're not yeah. over mixing the meat. Add the egg mixture. To that, we're going to add two cups of breadcrumbs. We're going to have one cup of finely chopped onion. We have one cup of onion powder. We're going to have one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of uh, granulated garlic, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper, black pepper, a tablespoon of parsley, and a tablespoon of allspice seasoning. To that, we're going to add about a cup of V8 juice. V8 juice. Yes. Ah, that's the secret. Yes. And we have uh, about half a cup of beef base that we've diluted in water, and we add that to our mix. And now we are ready to just blend all the ingredients. Mix it this up. is the fun part. You gotta really mix it so it's easy to form into a loaf when you're ready to. You know, one of the nice things about meatloaf is there's so many variations. Everybody has their own secret recipe. But this one here is really, really special because it's got that Milton's Altan's special touch to it, which I love so much. <laughs> one of my favorites. Just dump it right in here. And we'll just put it right on the board. Get it ready to shape, I yeah, guess, huh? Yep. Yeah. Okay. What we want to do is put a little oil on the bottom, the bottom of, the of that. Okay, that'll keep it from sticking. Yes, and after we put that in place, we're going to add about an inch of water ah. to the bottom of the pan. About how many people will this feed here, Milton? I'd say about 10 people. 10 people? Yeah. Maybe a little more. I was say, you must give yeah. amazing <laughs> portions because <laughs> I think I can feed the neighborhood with that. We do give large portions. <laughs> I know though. you, you got to understand. That. I know you do. We got that working. We're just going to transfer it right into the pan here, huh? That's going to be the tricky part, but we can do it. We can do it. Put that right up there for you. And then we'll kind of reshape it again. Yep. Oh, perfect. And it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Now that's what now, made we want to finish that off with uh, gives a nice flavor and color. Ketchup. And that'll add that little natural sweetness yes, to yes. it, huh? And a nice color. It'll give a nice brown to it when yeah. it's cooked. Yeah. The sugars in that. And that ketchup will make it nice and brown. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. You know, I think if meatloaf could smile, that would be smiling right about now. I'm just going <laughs> to add a little water before we put it in the oven. Right. Okay, it's ready to go in the oven. That's all there is to it. Wow, that looks great. About 45 minutes to an hour, 375 or so. Take it out, let it set, and slice it and serve it up. Beautiful. And now I see why this is Western New York's favorite dish. Come try our delicious homemade meatloaf at Eltons on Walden and Union or Transit Road in Elma, New York. Come dine with me, Western New York. <laughs>